Hello YouTube, thought we'd do a quick video on my homemade GMRS two-way radio antenna. Now, it, it's supposed to be a full-wave antenna, but it ended up turning out to be a three-quarter wave antenna. And I think I know why. But to explain the difference, one of the difference is that a full-wave antenna is going to be longer. And in the, the GMR frequency range, it should be about two feet and an eighth inch long, if I remember correctly. Well, my antenna ended up being 18 inches long, which is about the uh, equivalent of a three-quarter wave antenna. And I think I know why that happened. I think it happened because the way I constructed this antenna. Now, in my other videos, I talked about using a brass tubing and soldering on a steel collar that has an element screw in it so I can adjust the length of the steel rod to adjust my antenna so I can adjust my SWRs. I think by doing that, it changed the characteristics of the antenna. Now, I'm going to be modifying this antenna. I'm going to try to shorten the brass tubing and using a longer steel rod I'm hoping if I shorten this brass tubing to about two inches three inches that I can get my full wave uh, antenna back now how do I come up with the lengths I have now well like I said uh, for GMRS the length of the antenna should be about two feet and an eighth inch long. So what I did was is I soldered on my collar and then I cut the brass tubing 12 inches. Then I took my steel rod and I cut that at about 12 and a half inches. Yes, I cut a little bit bigger so I have a little bit of leeway for adjustments. That was my thought. So um, that's how I came up with the measurements that you see here. Uh, and, and, you know, in all honesty, the antenna would, this antenna works just fine. It's just going to be a three quarter wave instead of a full wave. There's nothing wrong with the antenna. If you look at the screen, I do have my nano hooked up to it and I have it, a marker frequency set at 462.550 megahertz. And that should be channel 15, I believe. And if you look at the screen here, my SWRs is actually 1.3, and just to point out, my SWRs are actually better outside. They're like 1.15 or something like that, so uh, they're much better outside than, than they are inside. Um, but at any rate, that's my SWR, so I could hook up a radio to this antenna right now and transmit, and everything will be fine. Any SWR reading of 1.5 or less is acceptable. So I do not have this software scanning the whole GMRS frequency. I only have it going from 460 megahertz up to 465 because I wanted to kind of zoom in on the 462 frequency. So that's kind of why I picked those frequency range, if you're wondering. Now, also, when you do make an antenna, keep in mind how you're going to mount it because you cannot, this brass tubing is part of the antenna. You cannot have it touch your, your uh, mass. If you're using a metal antenna pole, you can't have it touch. Um, in this case, I just use a wooden doll rod and I have it zip tied on here for testing purposes. Now, when I go to test it outside, when I do a distance test, I will, I, you know, I'll change that. But this antenna is pretty light, you know, to begin with. Um, my grounding rods, um, by adjusting those up and down, does change the SWR, um, which would stand to reason. Um, I also like to point out, be mindful and careful of your solder joints. Make sure they're good solder joints and not a cold solder joint. Uh, a cold solder joint will um, change the characteristics of the antenna and possibly uh, interfere with your SWRs also. 
So that is how I did this. I'm going to give you a close-up of this antenna. So let's go ahead and make this be on top here so that you can see it better. Now, like I said, I use brass tubing. You could use steel tubing or, you know, I, it might have been just fine using a steel rod instead of using brass tubing if I would have taken a steel rod and soldered the whole length steel rod and just cut it with the with the cutter to trim it to adjust the SWR, that probably would have worked just fine, and I probably would have gotten my full wave antenna. But I kind of like having these adjustments because it, I just, it just makes it easier, at least in my opinion it does. So I'm going to kind of, I'm going to take you off my little camera holder here, and I'm going to give you a close-up of this. Bear with me. I don't have a fancy studio, so what you see is what you get. Uh, here is the collar, and I did end up replacing the Allen wrench screw with the regular screw because I started to strip out the Allen wrench screw from me taking it in and out so many times. There it is, a better picture. My solder joints ain't, they're okay. They could be better, to be honest with you. Um, I got to find a better way of holding this collar so I can solder it, so I can have the rod be sideways to solder it. So I got to come up with a jig to hold that. Um... What I did here, let me get a camera here, I use electrical connectors so I could bend my rods easier. I soldered them on. This is a steel, solid steel, one-eighth steel rod. I soldered them on an electrical connector, then I can bend them. Uh, you don't have to do that. You can pre-bend them and solder them right in the hole if you wanted to. Uh, one thing you got to be careful of is don't have the, your brass tubing or whatever you're going to have touch this um how i hooked up the center co uh, co conductor is i soldered a copper wire i put a hook at the end of it i drilled a hole in the brass tubing i fished it through and then i had it poking through and i soldered it that's how i got the connector this is actually touching the plastic here so um yeah, there's no problem doing it that way. Now, if I, when I get this set up and I get this antenna done, I will be using epoxy on here and I will, you know, silicone all this up nice and neat. But for now, until I get it fine tuned and figure out which way I'm going to go, I did not do that because I might be taking this apart anyways. I might even change a ground plane to, like I said, more of a steel round ground plane. I did a video on ground planes. Um, watch that video. They'll kind of explain some of the thought behind that. Um, so that's pretty much about it. That is how I made this. Like I said, nothing fancy. It uh, does work. I mean, it's, you know, SWRs are good. Let me put you back in the, in the holder here so it gets you stable. There you go. Um, so, yeah, I mean... It's, it's turned out pretty decent. I mean, I think it turned out pretty good considering I got to find a better way of holding that collar on there to solder it a little bit better. But it's not bad. Like I say, it's anything below 1.5 SWRs is acceptable. And it's a lot better even outside. So even outside, it would be much better. Um, but at any rate, I hope this video will help you, give you some ideas. If you have any comments, please post them down below. And please subscribe. Thank you and have a good day.